Hello and welcome back to Fantasy Star Online episode 3 where today we are going to do the quest we got from Guy Kill titled No Reason. So let's go ahead and grab it. I do not need a reason to fight. Hurry up and dispatch me. Alright. Good thing I already set my ranger deck to have him. Though admittedly... I probably should have made a new deck for him. Because since he's got heavy swing, that means he cannot benefit from having more than three weapons equipped. I mean, he can once you've got a dice bonus, but... Yeah, considering every action card and attack he does is going to cost one extra, it's going to make things troublesome. Not a terrible start, but let's try for better. All right, more guns. Yeah, guy kill of all the hunters is probably the one who can most benefit from just having one or two big cards equipped. Though admittedly, I tend to prefer not having just big cards for hunters. They're a lot safer with more things equipped. Whereas for arcs, you can get two really good four-cost things and they can do wonders for you. With hunters, it's a little tougher. And if we stay right here, we can shoot once because heavy swing. And there goes the evil shark. Don't gotta worry about anything hitting us unless it's a one cost. Yeah, since we can't really do the whole attacking with more than three weapons in one round thing, we're gonna ignore our handguns. I probably should have tossed them. Ooh, an Arlen. Way back there, though. Aren't those like a three cost? Yeah. He definitely wasn't forced to summon it way back there. But I guess he wants to use it to defend himself. So what I could do is I could kill the Rappy, but then it would just come right back. So we're going to move here. If he wants the Rappy to do something to me, he's going to have to spend action points for it. Or rather, attack points. So now that we got that shield, I'm kind of regretting tossing both handguns. Defense. Wow, really, Kifoe? So heavy pierce, I believe, is if the target has four or more things equipped, then it pierces. Thank goodness we don't have that going on. Or wait, no, it was piercing. So three or more? Either way, it's got weak spot, so it does less damage if it pierces. Yeah, guy kill is very afraid of piercing. Like, it's the one thing he's afraid of. You know what? We can take a shot. And if we can also find our mag, that would be excellent. And we'll go ahead and toss the shield? Yeah. Oh, look, a shield. So if we can get one square closer, we can start attacking with multiple things. Oh, someone spent all of his attack points. Ooh. All right, so if I go here, then we can hit Pekka with the shot. I, I guess that's the play. I could have moved up a little bit and done a slash, but that costs almost all of my points. So I'm really better off just like, hmm. Maybe I should just focus on the Arlen. 
Yeah, I might be able to clear it out if he doesn't have any defense cards. Defense. Oh, hey, he rolled a one for his defense die. I wasn't paying enough attention. So the best he could have done was dodge. Which, if he had used a dodge on the first attack there, would have saved the Arlen. But hey, the Arlen was not saved. We are unchecked. I just want to find my mag. It's the only thing I can afford to equip right now. And it's good. Ooh, Zolgiven. Those guys are actually pretty decent if memory serves. I mean, for one, they're meaty. As you would expect from them being a five cost, but Ooh, three, that is not great. Can still hit Pekka with the shot, though. Now, let's see here. All right, they have fantastic TP. Great HP, great move. Native AP count. Okay. So its AP is currently two because of that Rappy. Minor death. Ooh, that is dangerous because that means our sh our barrier is just gone if it gets attacked. And freeze is also a thing. Yeah, Zolgibbons are pretty good. I can't super afford to move. I mean, I I can't attack twice if I don't move, so I guess I can super afford to move. And that way he's got to spend some points to hit me with the Zolgibbon. Not like I could have killed it anyway, so yeah. Moving was probably the right call. Probably. Okay, he's only got three attack dice, so... He's spending it all on moving. Show me a six. That is not a six. So once again, we'll move. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of using Guy Killed. I just, I really don't like Heavy Swing when it's on every attack we make with everything. Like, for arcs, there are some creatures with Heavy Swing. And honestly, that's fine. It's fine if they have to pay a little extra to use one creature. Because they've still got other creatures they can use. But when it's literally every attack you can do, it's a little tough. So what is Tech Field? Oh, okay. So wait. Okay, so it's everyone. It says attack attack by all characters with this card, and it's only put on one character, but it affects everyone. Um, yeah, we don't really have anywhere to move. So this is where the Zol Gibbon is gonna become bothersome. I really wish I could use attack and still hit both of them. But we don't have fixed range on Guy Killed. It might behoove me to kill the Rappy. Because that'll reduce the Zolgibbon's damage output, but the Zolgibbon's damage output doesn't matter. It's going to be attacking our, bar our barrier, and the barrier is going to die anyway, so yeah. As long as we've got our barrier equipped, the Zolgibbon's damage output means nothing. And as much as I like these cards... Ooh, gun attack. Okay, Zolgibbon's doing something. Probably. Oh, where are you going, Peckle? 
Uh, Zolgibbon using... Ooh. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. But hey, our barrier's sticking around? If I set the mag, then we can't attack twice. And gun attack would only let us murder the Gibbon more efficiently. But then again, attacking twice would only help us kill the Gibbon and or Rappy. So yeah, mag is probably a good idea. And I just kind of got to hope that he doesn't have any good defense cards and or tech cards left. Defense. Mag wasn't quite enough. Alright, we need to try and get our hands on a tech defense card. Which in our case is just dodge, which is unfortunate. And we didn't get one. So, if he's doing another Gifoe, we are just dead. Oh no. Defense. Oh, thank goodness. Why is it doing two less damage this time? I have no idea why it's doing two less damage. Oh, did the... Yeah, that's probably it. The, the assist card probably ran out. And oh no, our barrier. It's alright, we just need to put one damage on... Come on! Can't set the barrier back. Can't move. Can't attack with more than one gun to make sure he can't defend. Dang it. At least the Gibbon's gone. And he's used all three of his Gifoes, so we probably don't have to worry about any more piercing. Probably. But dang, I need to roll better. Okay, we can deal with the shark. Goodbye, mech gun. Thank goodness Guykilt has a loot. Otherwise, we would be dead right now. Also, oof. Taking both our mech guns. I mean, at least he left the shot. The one thing that can hit his story character. But I need to... Thank you for letting me... Oh, dang it. We don't have anything to equip for two. Well... We can use the barrier. Yeah, what I wanted to do was equip a weapon and attack with both weapons so that I could test for a defense card, but I can't do that. So I just gotta hope that he can't block this. And he can, so we have to survive one more round. But we've got a barrier, and he's probably not piercing. We've got a dice bonus. And there's only a Rappy. We're probably safe. Probably. Especially when he only rolls a three. And he's only using one point, so yeah, we are good. Uh, yeah, let's guard it. And now this battle is ours to win. If I get a six, then I can attack him twice and definitely win. Hey, look, it's a six. Shoot and stab. We win. 
Oh, we won even before the stab. He, he only could have used dodge, and he didn't even have it. That was closer than I would have liked. There's a knee. Yeah. I can't really argue with that. I mean, I wish I could, but I can't. And if memory serves, an E gives four cards. Ooh, Gil Shark. That looks like five. Flow and Sword is okay ish. Ooh, Love Rappy. So, yeah, Love Rappy, as we know, needs XP to function well. But that means Memoru can make good use of it after a few rounds. Potentially. And Flow and Sword, right. If you equip. Flow and Sword with Flow and Shield, you get a bonus. Problem is, Flow and Sword is bad by itself, and Flow and Shield is bad. And the bonuses you get from having them both, I personally don't think are worth it. But hey, another Gil Shark is good. We've got two now. That means its group can actually do something. We've got as many as we can place on the field at the same time. Bzzah! I win! Bzzah! Kek, kek, kek. Wait, what are the question marks? Ooh, it's time for our first boss battle. Okay. All right. Maybe. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Will do. All right, so what I remember about this boss is that it swaps whether it's weak to, or whether it takes damage from physical or techs, if memory serves. I could be wrong there. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Well, I mean, he left that capsule specifically to contact you. Uh, maybe because he's worried about the germ seeking a new host. Okay. I guess so. Maybe? Who knows? Stuff?
Does our uh, organization not have any psychologists on staff? I feel like going to see... Or psychiatrists? I feel like going to see one could help you out there, Silver. There's no shame in it. Question. Yeah, maybe. you you know this uh not exactly yeah about what uh no probably not Okay. Oh. Hey, don't go putting words in my mouth. Rules is rules. That's it. Sure. Whatever you do in your off hours is your own thing. Okay. And how about you, guy killed? I know, right? For sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what? You probably have the right of it. Uh huh. No way. Yeah, no can do, buddy. You, you're too difficult to use properly. Also, you can't use text. What about you, Glue Star? Uh, not you specifically. Okay. That's fine. I won't. She's a little weak for my tastes in the attack stat. No, I mean, her AP is only one, and she can't use text, so she's not great. Makes sense. 
All right, let's go get a deck that will work on this thing. Would Realmitos be good? He might be good. Because he can do both techs and physical. But needing to swap mid-round is an issue, so... Maybe Sulfur. Or maybe Kranz. Yeah, let's do Sulfur. She's got both techs and physical attacks in her deck. Not many techs, but she's got some. It's better than nothing. According to reports from the development division, an object thought to be a weapon from an ancient civilization has been found. Because of the danger of a potential explosion, we're sending out a team to investigate. We'd like you to escort them. That's a big map. Ooh, no shuffle. No shuffle? For a boss fight? All right, we're using Realmitos. Even though I don't think he's the best choice for it. Also, I absolutely loved the music here when I was in high school and this game first came out. Like, there was uh, one of my classes in a getting to know you thing on the first day of class. They asked everyone what their favorite song was, and I specifically chose this. Not my favorite song in the soundtrack anymore, but there was definitely a time when it was. It's got energy to it. I like that. What do you know? We got all the cards we wanted. Forty HP. That's not a good roll. Well, got to start moving at some point. Yeah, he does change every round, but what does he change? Periodic field, what is that? Yeah, resistance. Well, hey, uh, good job doing murder. I don't like when it says AP equals zero and then it kills things. Not that I could have stopped it, but. All right, got a fork, got a mag. Still got to move, but can't right now. And might as well keep the darn doll. I don't think we're gonna, well, it can do physical attacks and tech attacks. But we don't really have to worry about much for now. Oh, he's coming. Let's take another look at what all he's got going for him once we're done rolling. Now that's the kind of roll I like to see. But uh, before we set our Durandal. So, no abnormal conditions. Swaps AP and TP before each turn. So not just before, or not just after each attack. So immune to physical when it's white, immune to tech when it's black, or looks more green to my eyes, but whatever. Yeah, it's aerial, that's fine. And that's the whole shebang, huh? 7 TP, which means also 7 AP when it's in AP mode. That's kind of scary. So it is currently immune to physical. But techs can do things, and we're in tech mode. Does it count as a story character for story character Slayer? I don't know. But I'm not going to test right this moment. Let's go ahead and just do this. 
I mean, at best, we would only do one more damage, and at worst, we would do one less, so... Well, it sure sounds like an evil shark. Okay, so now we can hit it with physical attacks. Oh, it's gonna slap us. Oh no, my mag! I cannot save you, Mag. I'm sorry. Rude. Mag didn't even get to benefit us. I feel like I should make a Ranger unshuffled deck, because fighting this guy from range is a lot safer. All right, we're in physical mode, so let's go to town. Um, so this should do eight damage because SC Slayer. And if it doesn't do eight damage, then, well, we know that SC Slayer doesn't mean anything for this guy. Okay, SC Slayer does count. Get rid of that. And that. There we go. Got a foey. Hopefully we get at least a three for our attack dice next round. Ooh. Okay. Well, I guess we can block all this incoming damage. Feels like... A little bit of a waste, but hey, I'm happy to take no damage. Glad it didn't do that on its attack or uh, its uh, physical phase. That would have been dangerous. All right, so we know SC Slayer works, so everything on this is effectively plus two. So, if we do a physical attack with this to bait out defense cards, and then Foey with this, that should be our most effective turn possible. Yeah, that's what I like to see. We're getting there. Okay, so this Disca, uh, we probably can't make good use of. Probably can't make good use of the wand either, really, but we'll keep it, because if he does specific attacks on specific things, there's nothing we can do to save them. Okay, HP Haver is fine. I don't mind having my Durandal lose 3 HP. Oh, it's everything, not just the Durandal, huh? That's a little more annoying, but there was nothing I could do about it anyway. Would have liked to see a little bit more than just 3 there. But 3 is enough. So we are in what mode? We are in AP mode. So let's, this is actually a tough call. So that would be five, whereas this would be six. And that would make it eight. But then the other one would be weak. And... Yeah, let's do this. Defense. Keep 
keeps the most possible damage on the table, I guess. Makes it so that he can't do as much of, about our attacks with his defense cards, I guess. All right, so if we get a tech in our hand... Which we don't, because I did a really dumb thing in spacing out my techs towards the latter half of the deck. We can't kill him on the next turn. Earthbind. That's paralysis, right? Or immobile? It, whatever it is, it's the thing that keeps us from moving. Or something. I guess it does nothing. That's also acceptable. Oh, maybe it prevents flying? Yeah, I'll take a barrier. It's better than nothing. Not a whole lot I can do right now, though. I could move away and force it to spend some points to catch up. Oh, that's what Earthbind does. It reduces my move to one. Man, this thing would actually be pretty solid if we got it earlier. Of course, it's exactly where I put it in the deck, so that's really a moot point, but whatever. Hey, now we've got a tech. Yeah, spend one point chasing me down. I dare you. Oh, he spent a point. Defense. Okay, another HP halver. That's fine. It's a complete non-issue. Kills nothing. And we're in TP mode? Or no, we're in AP mode. Okay, so this is five damage if he blocks nothing. And then that's the finisher. Okay, we win. We killed that really weird floaty evil shark. I guess Dominion... Or no, Dominions don't sound like that. Dominions do more of a bark. They do kind of hiss when you hit them, but... They also moan when you kill them. This guy didn't. All right, give us some good stuff. I know we only got a D... Ooh! Okay, so yeah, they gave us some good stuff. What about Zimurin? Zimurin. Uh, AB Slayer is all right. And honestly, 4 HP, 1 AP, 3 TP with... Only a two for cost? That's pretty good. Like, isn't that just a better wand for the same price? And yay, we got a second mag. I want one more. It appears that it was indeed a weapon of some sort. According to the containment team, it was some kind of guardian used on this planet in ancient times. There may be more of them, so we'll need to proceed with caution. As for you, good work. That'll be all for now. Yeah, I guess. Thanks. No, oh, so bold. Ah, yes, they would be stupid not to promote someone who sent them a strongly worded letter that called out their leader by name. Yep, that, that's what idiots do, is not promote that guy. 
Yeah, Ravum Aid is Sakura. Huh? Okay. Sure. And by top priority, we all mean do it last. Uh huh. Okay. That is true. It's almost like it's a whole planet. Makes sense. Sure. And now to go talk to everyone before ending the episode. Hi, Saligan. Uh, sure. Oh, you mean those things that haven't existed in any quests yet, but that are uh, sometimes bad, sometimes good, and always annoying unless you're a humanoid and can see them? Yeah. They're invisible to non-humanoid story characters. And if you stop on a square containing a trap, it puts an assist card on you. Some of the assist cards are helpful, some are harmful, some just do things for everyone. Viviana. Yeah. Uh, probably by finding some silly little trinket that reminds them both of the bonds they share, but it's not like that would ever happen. What's up, Kranz? Sure. Uh-oh. Do they? Uh, no? Oh. It could just mean that you're friends. What do you mean, why? Sure. All right. Bye, Crans. Uh, I guess. Good. Yeah. Uh, a new person.
Yeah, the real world is definitely a place where you have amnesia and you may or may not have been stabbed in the heart by some guy. Yep, very realistic. you, Stella. Oh. Who knows? I, I guess not. D okay. Good talk. Enolis? Yeah. You haven't seen him around here recently. Oh. That it, that is a little bit thick scold. Starting to. You should, I just guy who says things like that, I don't know if he's worth it. Alright, good luck. Viviana. Does she? Yeah, from you, moments ago. You. No, it was you? But why, though? You're the one who said the things. Poor Teifu. I don't think he's got a mission for it. Yeah. All right. So that's it for this episode. Join us next time when we go rescue a fish. See you then, friends.